Well, um, after last week's Rio Plus 20 conference, what came out of that was that the real progress was being made locally uh, and in communities and in on a, on a civic level, not a national level. And I think, for example, when we're trying to, so, okay, so tell me a good story, for example, that makes us have hope. Uh, over the weekend here on this stage at the Aspen Environment Forum, we had a panel on feeding the planet at mid-century when we're projected to be at nine billion. And a fellow by the name of Chris Ray, R-E-I-J, who's at World Resources Institute, devotes his whole life to improving farm production in the Sahel. And it's, uh, he told many wonderful stories of how farmers on their own were saving their landscapes, planting trees, uh, improving crop yields by huge amounts. There's also a story about uh, the story about solar powered irrigation projects in Benin that where before they were, they depended on solely on the rainfall. And, and by using solar panels, they were actually able to all of a sudden store water, time the application of water to their crops. All of a sudden they were having farmers markets. They were able to sell their crops. The next phase is actually to take that same technology and put it in the schools so that you actually have electricity in the school, there's water in the school, the girls can stay in school uh, through adolescence. It's that kind of positive story that I think on the ground it's going to have to add up.